So I'm using a flat one inch brush and I'm just sort of painting now, just getting the activating this cerulean and just covering the sky area. I'm adding some titanium white now with my flat one inch brush and blending it into the wet paint. And it just sort of blending away here. Use the largest brush that you have, especially if you, you, you're painting a large area. I've just squeezed a little bit more white there just to get a really nice light sky. If you find it easier, you can actually mix this light blue color in your palette, but it's a really nice way of warming up, just getting, getting color on this canvas. As you saw there, I squeezed out some more white straight from the tube and I'm blending it into the wet paint. And there we are, I've blended all the paint so I've got a lovely light blue sky. And I'm just now using the same brush, I haven't actually rinsed it so there is a light blue wash on my brush. And I'm just blending now the green paint in the foreground and then pulling up some grasses. And I will be painting over the top of this later but it's just a really nice start. So my painting has dried and I've mixed up some cobalt blue and quinacridone magenta. So this lovely cornflower colour, it's sort of a blue violet and I'm painting the, um, with a round brush actually, the cornflowers wet on dry and it's just so easy to do. You're literally just sort of, you know, doing one layer here with the colours and you can sort of vary the colours as well, maybe have some little bit more pink in there, but just take your time and it doesn't have to look quite like the photograph. You can create your own composition. And as you can see there, I've sort of spread out these cornflowers, balancing them in the painting. So I'm painting some of the buds here and I'm using a very small flat brush and just sort of pressing downwards to get the shape so it's a good idea maybe to practice this on a rough piece of paper so you get the sort of right shape that you want but it's really just sort of pressing down and lifting off and I've used a mid green wash so I've mixed up some yellow and blue and I'm just sort of pressing down and just sort of spreading them out really so there's an even amount there the, the actual photograph is quite busy so I've actually made sure that I've sort of simplified it a little bit more and I hope you're inspired by that as well just to create a really nice composition. Now if you do go wrong a little bit and you don't like what you've done just wet it quickly and just wipe it off with a paper towel because you're painting the wash underneath the is dry so you shouldn't disturb it it's only if you really scrub that the paint underneath can be reawakened but really acrylic shouldn't be. So I'm painting on some grasses now, again using a mid-green wash. Um, and the color is, I'm using some phthalo blue and a little bit of yellow ochre. So you can vary your greens as well. So you could use some of the cobalt blue with some of the cadmium yellow. It's entirely up to you. Or you can use green straight from a tube. So I've just mixed up a slightly darker green, just adding more blue and I'm painting this onto the dry surface. With acrylics, you wait for a painting to dry. You can blow dry in between the layers, but it's good to always let things dry naturally. And we just work opaquely on top of it. That's the traditional way. There's lots of other ways that you can paint in acrylics, but I'm showing you kind of more of a traditional way. And you just build up working dark to light. So you put on your dark tonal values first, let those dry and just build up to the lighter areas. Obviously with the sky, I had to paint some white in the sky but that was the last sort of stage. I will be putting some fluffy clouds on though as well. So I put a little bit of dark below the buds there with a dark green paint and I'm using now um, a card to print with. So I've actually painted some green on the edge of the card and I'm just printing. It's a birthday card sent to me by one of my very dear students and I thought what better use than actually to use it as an artistic tool but you can use a plastic card to do this also. The reason why I'm using a card like this because you can bend it slightly and get some more curvature on your stems. And I'm using the brush now to paint some pale um, lights on the stems as well. So use what you feel comfortable, um, but just enjoy it as well. And remember with acrylics, if you don't like it, you can paint over the top afterwards. Mm -hmm. I'm painting on some fluffy clouds here using my fingertips 
and to blend in the clouds. So just sort of let it all quite it be quite soft. Now, um, maybe looking in hindsight, I should have painted these clouds before the flowers. So I would advise that if you're watching this through for the first time, maybe paint and if you want to do it, paint those clouds first and then the flowers on top. Um, but I was so keen to paint the cornflowers, I forgot to do that. I'm painting on some light colours now, so I've added some white to the cobalt blue and the pink and painting this on wet on dry and just varying the um, light there, painting it mostly from the left hand side to show the lights coming from the left. So keep that consistent with your stems as well and your grasses. And I'm painting in a little bit of dark and some lighter colours as well. The dark colour is actually the phthalo blue with the pink because you get a lovely dark with that. And the light colour is the cobalt blue with the pink with white, with lots of white. I'm finishing off now just painting underneath the flowers here with a mid to dark green. That's the phthalo blue with some yellow. I'm painting it with my liner brush, so it's quite a small long haired brush just to get this detail in to finish off my painting. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually spattering the foreground with the cornflowers colours, slightly watered down, and I'm actually now spattering some white as well to give my painting a little sparkle. And here I am with some light green as well, giving that a little spatter. I've mixed up some light green here and I'm painting in some lighter grasses with my liner brush. You could also use the plastic card to print this. And a few little light white accents on the cornflowers to finish off. After all, these are the stars of our painting and we just want to give them a little pop to draw your eye in. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Here is my finished painting. I'm actually really pleased with it. I've painted a very similar one in watercolour and I'll put a link for that in the description below. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please put them in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, why not subscribe if you haven't already to my acrylic YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.